Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the power button in the Motorola Moto X2 second generation. So first of all, you want to do is make sure that your device is powered off. Then you want to take a SIM eject tool and remove the SIM card tray. So remove that. Use the same SIM card tray removal tool or something similar that you can push in. There's a little hole right in here that you can push up and you can see the back start separating right there. So what you can do is do that. And then what I use is a really thin pry tool like this. I'll link to this in the description so you can find it. And it just opens it up so you can start using that if you want. Then you can just start sliding carefully down the side here like this. It just has adhesive under it and you can just work your way down around with this. Just keep working your way around. Now when you get up here close to the volume and power buttons, you wanna be careful. There's some wires in here, but they're in a little bit so you can, as long as you stay out close to the edge, you're fine as you go up through here. So I would say just keep working your way all the way around. Then once you have everything quite loose, what you can do is just start lifting up whatever way it wants to come off the best and the back cover comes right off like that. Next what you will want to do is use a plastic pry tool or something like that. I prefer something non-metallic. Go ahead and remove this rubber plug right here. Then it comes off, set it to the side. Then you want to disconnect the battery right here, pry up on it carefully. Then we'll also want to remove this rubber plug right here. Then you want to just pry up on that connector right there. And you also want to use the tweezers or something. Remove this tape right here and just stick it down right there so you don't lose it. Then what we we'll want to do is pry up on this little latch right here, this white latch. And you can slide something under here and carefully just pull that back and that pops right out of there. I'll include links in the video description for any tools that I'm going to be using today on this repair or any parts that I'm going to be replacing. I'll include links for them as well in the video description so you can check them out there. So next what we're going to do is use a screwdriver size T4, Torx T4, and we're going to want to remove all these screws all the way around the outside perimeter here. All the black ones, there should be 18 of them. There's two in these pockets as well. And don't remove this silver one for the power and volume button. Just remove all the black ones here. And you don't need to worry about these three silver ones around the logo here either. So next, now that you use a T4 screwdriver and you took all the screws all the way around, you don't have to worry about mixing the screws up. They're all the same size. Just want to let you know. So next, what you want to do is just grab this and start separating. It should come right apart, just like that. To change the power volume flex cable switch, Right here, what you can do is just remove this screw right here with the Torx T4 screwdriver as well. Then we'll go ahead and remove that part that was in there. Then we'll turn this over. So then what we can do on this part right here where the power volume switch is, there's a little clip right here on the end we can get under something like with the tweezers or something. And then right in here, there's another one that if we pry right up there under those two, just keep working it back and forth. And this whole part comes out just like that. This has the power switch and the volume button switch on it. It's all one piece. So to reinstall, just grab it, stick it down through that slot in there. You just wanna press it down in where it goes. Make sure it's all the way down. And you're all set. If you need to change the buttons by any chance, you can do that while you have that piece out. Just push them out and push them back in. After replacing the power volume switch, make sure to set this part down in here. And go ahead and put your silver screw back in right there. Next, we're gonna grab this part. Set it right down on here. Clip it in the best you can. It doesn't really want to stay until we get some screws in it. So then next, flip this guy up. Push that in and close that. Make sure that those are all where they belong. Next, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect this connector down in there. Put the rubber plug in there. Then we'll go ahead and put this tape back on here. Let's reconnect the battery down in there. You can go ahead and put the battery plug back in there. Go ahead and put the, all the screws in all the way around. So to reinstall the back cover, what you can do, for the most part, you can reuse the adhesive that's on here if you take it off carefully. If you do need some for some reason, you can either get some actual adhesive, and I'll link to this where you can find it, or if you want to use like this double-sided adhesive, it's just like a two millimeter double-sided. I'll link to this in the video description too where you can find it. So what you can do is just grab your back cover once you're all set, just set it down on here, make sure it lines up everywhere, and just press it down really well, and it sticks right down. If you want to just give it a little heat with a heat gun or something, a hair dryer or something, just give it a little heat with that, and you'll find that it'll stick right down better. Go ahead and put your SIM card tray back in. You'll be all set. Thanks for watching.